Thanks for joining us for another episode of Three Different Dads. Now, lighter and slimmer with two dads. Two dads. Although Jim is <laughs> slimming down. So, uh, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Yeah, we're talking. Yeah, we're, yeah we're, just got back from uh, tailgating all day, and yeah. uh, it was fun. Yeah, uh, we, we, and the- we were we were talking beforehand. You said you're next to some chefs and having some good time, <laughs> good food there. Yes, yes, it, it gave me some good ideas of what can be cooked on just a regular gas grill, uh, which you know, not to a surprise, but obviously, if you're a chef, you seemingly know how to cook good food. So, yeah, these guys that we we're tailgating next to the first course was gumbo second course was uh and i I should say not courses but uh meals so we're there uh, tailgating for seven plus hours and anyway lunch was yeah a gumbo which was amazing yeah they handed out some samples and then the next course up was lamb chops with (laughs) asparagus and something else and i it put my little like hot dogs with hot dog sauce to shame dude it was bad and sliced american cheese <laughs> yeah it was shredded it was shredded oh, okay, okay, yeah. it was a big big costco bag and i do fancy it up i put on like a little like you know like surgical glove and i like do, that way people aren't like weirded by my hands being all over their food but sure yeah <laughs> no, well good. that yeah that, do you like that's such a long time to tailgate like yes is I'm it too is it too long tired. It, it the only plus is that I sit down a lot. Okay. Uh, I bring obviously tons of tailgate chairs, and I'm the first to get off my feet because I know it's a long day. Yeah. But then you know you're going into so I went up to the Michigan game, so you're going into the big house. And for our listeners that have not been to the big house, there's no chair back seating there. Ugh. It's all just straight up bleacher seating, and. You know, it was a bigger game last night. They played Michigan State, so a lot of fans were standing throughout yes. the game. So then you're talking just not the tailgate, but then you're talking a three-and-a-half-hour game standing on concrete. <laughs> and, dude, I – so, like, I walked out of there, like, so just sore and tired, and I'm just like – so I got in bed. I think it was around, I don't know, after I put some of the tailgate stuff away, like 1230, uh, and then I just, like, I purposely <laughs> – we're, we we started this at around 9.45 Eastern, and I think I roll out of bed around 9.30 just to just try and get as much sleep as possible. Wow. So, it was fun, though. Yeah, I say it sounds like a good time, though. Like, it, that's uh, – I mean, I've been to college football games. I went to the big house once, too, and it's it's pretty sweet. Yeah. You know, it's it's a good time. But, yeah, having – especially now, us dads, having no chair backs, <laughs> brutal. Oh, it's brutal. <laughs> yeah. It's brutal. Cause, cause, I wore my my cool Michigan shoes, my Nike Dunks, you know, that are like Michigan colors. Yeah. But the bad thing about them shoes is that the soles are completely like flat. There's no so there's support. Like zero support. So they look cool, but it comes at a big price. Is like, yeah, my back hurts today. <laughs> uh, well, cool, man. Um, yeah, we did. I, we did just receive an update from Jim. Um, he texted and said that he has the flu. So. And he's, uh, he he and then oh, he, he, showed us he sent proof. a picture. Yeah, he goes here's here's, here's proof, receipts, dude. Here's proof that so you know I'm <laughs> I'm not just a man. It's not just a man cold, but the flu. So Jim has influenza A. So if yeah. there are any doctors listening, please contact Jim and help him out. Could he have podcasted with influenza A? Basically, that's what we want to know. This could have been his flu game, but we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> hundred percent. It could have been his flu game. It yeah, could have been his flu game, but I mean, it just shows he's not on the same playing field as Michael Jordan, I guess. So no, nope, that's all right. He always said he is he is the Michael Jordan of Texas. So he said that for years, even before he moved down there. So, yes, which but we we thought clearly, was weird. Clearly not true. No, no. So uh, we were supposed to have a candy draft since it's Halloween. I got you know my my Halloween shirt on. Halloween shirt on. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we can't have it without Jim and our other guest. So, uh, we just talk about candy. I do want to talk about candy. So, uh, I have a couple things. So, uh, the best thing, one of the best things about kids is Halloween. Uh, they love it and I like candy and they always get too much of it. So, uh, um, going through and everyone talks about the dad tax, you know, taking, taking their pieces out that they want. Um, I don't really tell them. I just, you know, when they're, when there's a bag of candy sitting around, I just put my little grubby hand in there and, and take what I want. Um, also, 
uh, when was the first time you took your daughter out trick or treating? Do you remember how old she was? Uh, definitely not the first year because she was born uh, October the sixteenth. Yeah. she was just you know a yeah. peanut the first year, but the second year we did take her out, and she might have gotten to like two, three houses because you know like she had just turned like you know like one yeah. at that point. Yeah. But yeah, it's I I, I mean. We took her, yeah, but it was more like we just dressed her up in a costume, if anything, you know, yeah. like, but no, we did not, yeah, I guess I take that back, it would have been maybe even two or three before she, we actually, like, it was definitely the age where she was walking around a little bit, so it had to been maybe two or three. Still, so still, say, uh, in mind, but. yeah, still way too young to be eating uh, candy, uh, yeah. <laughs> so that, I think those first few years of trick-or-treating are definitely just for the parents. Yeah, yeah. Those are the ones. Yeah, so like, so handing out candy. I've done that several times, obviously, and uh, that was always a, a struggle for me. Was thinking like, you know, okay, if a kid's walking like on their own, even if they're small, they might be able to have like a little candy. Yeah. But when the kid is being pushed in a stroller, <laughs> and the parent is the one coming up asking for the candy, I'm like, dude, this is just straight for you guys like this is like questionable at best so how do, but how do you feel how do you feel if there's another child or two that are of walking age with a stroller but they all have a bucket for candy i guess i gotta give them the candy i mean yeah. I, it's not like i don't hand them the candy sure, but sure. I might, yeah like the the littler kids that are you know like running around having fun like i'll give them two or three pieces you know because yeah. i just you know just pop it in real quick before the kid or the, the parent with the stroller comes up and i give them like one and just walk away <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you went trick-or-treating uh last time i went as myself, like geez. like yeah as as a kid yeah. getting candy I, I feel like i stopped around junior high because yeah. like yeah honestly because i you know just the group of friends i guess i hang out with like we didn't really get to into Halloween as far as like you know I guess call it your teenage years running around when you're in high school and yeah you no know, and actually literally running to get you know <laughs> as much candy as possible those are always fun when you're handing those out for yeah. kids and I call them kids but they're literally like you know 17 18 year olds running around with a pillow sack because they know that the little plastic thing of candy can't hold enough candy <laughs> so they get a pillow sack and they are literally running from house to house to house to house and it's it's intense uh there was a there was a post i saw that said like hey if there's kids that look to like 17 18 and they're trick-or-treating like just give them candy because they could be in like such way worse stuff on halloween than oh just yeah going around getting candy we yeah. I, I think the last time it was i know i went i, I want to say it was kurt and maybe irwin that all went i think we were probably we drove somewhere i know that um but i was uh i had a uh like a what is it called like a poncho and then i put a <laughs> sombrero on and i was just a mexican <laughs> so i just went as myself just more dressed up um and they threw on some masks or something but we never like i think people said like aren't you guys a little too old but they never said no like they still get yeah. candy. Yeah. I think that's, I think the normal thing to do is you hassle them a little bit, you know? And yeah. I just always hope that they like don't knock down like the children that are just like barely yeah, yeah. like when they're get coming up to get their cake because they're always like running to your house. So, <laughs> uh, speaking of mass, did you see like I saw an article somewhere that somebody like had an original screen mask and really? it like still had the tags on it and it, they sold it for a ton of money. Like I, I didn't see that because all of a sudden it's like you know it's like an old call it prop. It, I guess it probably maybe because it had to have the tags on it. But I just I don't know. I saw something on it was either Instagram or somewhere, and, and people were like looking through like thrift stores trying to find screen masks now because I guess there's like a resale value for like an original screen mask. Really? I don't know. Yeah, it was weird, man. Uh, the stuff people will buy. Yeah, on 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 ebay they're i mean they're everywhere i mean it, i guess it depends on what there's one that's just saying a uh, vintage scream halloween mask but 
it's six hundred and fifty dollars. But I don't know, like, and there's apparently <laughs> Screen Mask Gen Two. <laughs> yeah, that's what I see, Gen Two. So, and again, it, it, the fact is, it still has the tags on it. I guess I have no. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I I was a Scream character once. That's so that I'm... I I I love that article. I guess or that article. I appreciated it because I was immediately thought I was like, do I still have that Scream mask somewhere? When did um when did if you had to guess without looking up when did the first scream come out? Nineteen ninety nine. Ninety six. Damn. They made so they made three in four years. It was super popular, dude. Yeah. The second one came out in ninety seven and the third one came out in two thousand. Um is there a new scream movie? Maybe that's why uh I don't I feel maybe like they're doing Oh, twenty twenty two. So there's apparently a new screen movie in 2022. Is it out right now? It might Jan- be. Yeah. Oh, it, it released. Oh, I, I had no idea. It released January 14th. Oh. <laughs> Did you have any idea that it was? No, I had no oh. idea that a no, new one even came out. No. <laughs> huh. It's pretty sad. Yeah. But I'm sure, I'm sure I'm looking now. I'm going to see. Yep. Some of the original. Uh. Courtney Cox, Courtney Cox, and um, how is I forget his name? Isn't it? Is it her? David birthday? Arquette. Yeah. Is that, yeah. Is that yeah. it? Yeah. I'm amazed I got that because I'm horrible at like actor and actress names. Yeah, that was yeah. You like pulled that out immediately. So yeah, apparently another one came out and <laughs> nobody knew about I knew about it. So cool. It was a cool little franchise. I thought for yeah, the time it was that, and I know what you did last summer. I like that one though because of Jennifer Love Hewitt. I had a big crush on her when I was younger. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think of my favorite scary movie. I don't really like scary movies. I'm kind of like Jim, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so you guys just don't turn the TV on during October, I, in October. I just, I would prefer to just, yeah, not watching said scary movie, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I mean, some of the classics. Uh, God, what, what, what's good? Yeah, that's a good one. Yep. Yeah, I, I'm blanking on names. I'm sorry, dude. Paranormal Activity. I like that one. Uh, obviously, Blair Witch. I think that's that's a that's like, a good one. One of the original ones. You know, I you know, love. I I shouldn't say love. I I loved it because I went with Andrea every year. But all the Saw movies, uh, we watched all those together. Um, Did you ever that, get into like uh, Thirty Days of Night? And yes, stuff? yes. I yeah, actually that's... really like that. It, I guess it's not technically scary, but it's a little scary. But like, cause I started running through my mind. I'm like, man, what would I do if I was in this town? <laughs> I do like, that all the, all the you're time. Attacked by like vampires or werewolves or whatever. Yeah. Else yeah. That was so weird, dude. <laughs> I do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I, I, maybe that's why I have some, I have a area in my house um, where I have like, you know, prepper stuff. Yeah. You know, uh, just in case something happens, you know, so I have emergency things in there. So. Uh, but yeah, I think about that kind of stuff. Not to the point where I'm going to dig a giant pit in my backyard and put in a, you know, a shelter. Yeah. But not yet. No, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping I can buy my neighbor's house when they put it up for sale, and I'll put it over there. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I had just a big uh, compound over here. <laughs> That's what you need, really. If it ever goes down. <laughs> um, back to candy. What is? Yes. Because uh, we we're gonna have a candy draft, so I, so I'm not gonna like. We don't have to go exactly what it is. Well, what's your all-time favorite candy? If you could, I mean, you're an adult. You can buy your candy. What is your go-to candy? Reese's, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was at Costco the other day, and, you know, they obviously had all their Halloween candy, but I saw the Costco's always like two, three months ahead of everything. So now they have all their Christmas stuff out. Yeah. And they had the Reese's trees. Trees. And it was, I think it said 65 pieces for like, <laughs> 10 or 15 bucks and i'm like yes absolutely when did you buy those it just uh would have been friday night i haven't opened them yet I will oh, myself oh wow yeah. i was just gonna ask you yeah no yeah i have not opened them like i'm trying okay. not to be a worthless slob you know <laughs> eating eating candy like all the time but i yeah. but again it's one of those things like you know you always those reese's trees dude like any any of the custom cut cut out reese's like are always solid like the yeah. Easter egg ones, like those are always my favorite around Easter time, but specific to Halloween, I would 
always love Reese's. Reese's. Do they make do they make pumpkin ones? They do. Yeah. Like shaped ones. Yeah. Yep. I had a, a small pack of those. I was at a carry out and I just went to the carry out for like a, you know, some gum. Yeah. And then they had it right by the register. I was like, absolutely. <laughs> Let's just grab grab a little four pack here. Dang. Yeah, I I mean they're good. I eat them, but what about you? Uh, What's your favorite? My favorite is gummy bears. Yeah. Specifically Albanese gummy bears, which uh Albanese makes these gummy bears, but they are sold at, like under a bunch of different brands. But okay. um, but like you can buy like Speedway has them and but they're like I used to go with Haribo all the time. Um I like the chewiness, like they're That's, a little stiffer, okay. right? Yeah. Um but these there's so many different flavors in the package and like they're just the whatever the chewness rating is it's like perfect <laughs> like it's the it's gum, not the gumminess the gumminess of them it's not like it's not too hard not too soft it's goldilocks right in the middle man and it, it's perfect i love gummy bears those are that's that's i've loved gummy bears for forever um but if i had to do like a chocolate um i like anything with uh crunch in it so like a uh, kit kat uh crackle yeah. crackle bar um, the only, I only ever see them in the little miniature ones, in like a mixed bag of Hershey's, uh, cookies and cream. Um, I like white chocolate, so the cookies and cream Hershey's. Uh, Are Butterfinger good. too crunchy? You think? Uh, they stick that, in my they stick crunch? yeah because it sticks in my teeth. Yeah. Uh, they're good, and I really got into them when uh when I was younger because Bart Simpson Simpson was a huge like advertisement for them. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, they stick in my teeth. Um. Uh, crunch bar, just Nestle Crunch Bar, just something with like the wafer in it. I guess is what it would be. But I'd much rather do a gummy than chocolate. Yeah, I wrote down just you know, I I like my daughter will get Sour Patch Kids like when we go to the movie theater. Yeah, and then so it's not something I guess I would necessarily get, but like that would have been my kind of quote unquote gummy one that I would vote for. Okay, I thought gummy was a hard category, by the way uh yeah because uh beyond gummy well, bears and then sour patch because i was like what else even qualifies so i literally like those were the only two i wrote down so if we would have drafted and those would have gotten picked ahead of me i'd be like i i have done um so i was gonna t- bring that up like gummy bear or gummies can i like it has to be we'd have to go like name brand right because you almost yeah you can't just like be like gummy would've... bear that's too broad that's what I wrote down though. So that you would, if you would have taken gummy bear, like you would have, you would have dominated that draft. I think. I, I was there's really there's like there's nothing else, dude. There's like no no other category. I wanted to talk, but in that category. but yeah, I, I was gonna bring it up like before the episode started. Like here, I think here's what we should do for gummy because it's because every but everything because everything else was chocolate. It wasn't just gonna be like chocolate bar. You know what I mean? Like it was yeah. gonna be specific. So yeah. I had don't worry, I had I had you covered on that. Plus like. I think there's some like I don't know if you like Swedish fish, but I hate it. Um, I don't like. See, yeah, I I didn't write it down. I did see Swedish fish was a category of gummy when yeah. I was doing my research, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I I can't rock Swedish fish. No, uh, no. Well, the other one that I saw that I was like, oh yeah, I think I've had those before, and they're pretty good. So you know the, I think they're like flavored lifesavers, but they make them in gummy form, yeah. and I was like, I think I've had those before. Those are pretty good. Those so. are good. I love uh, um, the kids get like gushers. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if those, what those would be. I would just consider those gummies. Um, those are gummies for sure. Yeah. But that's like one of those things. It's like, that's one of those borderline. Is it really a candy, a candy that people just throw into their candy jar? Cause they forgot to get candy for Halloween. And yeah. Yeah. But we should have done that as a topic <laughs> or a, a, a category is like, what's the most <laughs> random thing you ended up with? Like at Halloween, like, cause, <laughs> Clearly, the people forgot to get candy. Oh my god! Turn your light off, man. Huh? Just turn your light off. Don't... No, I'm fine. I'm just trying to wake up. So no, no, no. Talk. I was talking about like if you forget candy. Oh, just... oh, 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 oh. Right. I thought you meant like my light above me. I'm no. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I, I just feel like yeah. There's some people they just I don't know why they just refuse to turn the light off and feel bad and they try but they just like uh, I don't know. <laughs> Packs of chips, like getting packs yeah, of chips and stuff, yeah. Cheetos, you know? yeah. Cheetos, I've like, got just mini bags of plays, and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, because <laughs> I've gotten like tiny uh cheese balls. There's like four cheese balls in these things. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I that's the stuff I'm like, this is this is not no. It's, but it's Halloween themed, you know. Yeah, it's a I feel like that's a cop out just to not give out sugar or something. They had a uh, at Aldi they had um packs of Pokemon cards that you could give out. That would be sweet. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, it was just as much as candy. Like the price was just as much as candy, you know. But so it was like one card or two cards in a little mini mini pack. It's a mini it pack. I, I would imagine there's four cards in there. Okay. Um, I bought a I bought a pack, but I just stashed it away in my garage. There's so <laughs> a little insight to my Pokemon uh collection, I guess. Um, so me and Mateo open open up Pokemon cards, and it's fun, and we do that. We might have talked about it. Um, but I also have a stash of stuff i buy pokemon stuff that i just it's just i just keep it so in 20 years like if the kids it's kind of like collecting baseball cards only where i'm not opening them like everything's in their package or whatever so i just have it and mateo doesn't know like if he ever found this stash he's like dad what is all this where did all this come from but uh to that point there were a lot of people that have done that the last 20 years and when covid hit you know like full blown in 2020 yeah everyone was bored at home sitting on ebay buying that shit and like the the card industry went from like flat to just spiked out of the world like i yeah. reaction it was crazy so now i just so gotta I, wait I for another think COVID. that's probably yeah if you could time another global <laughs> pandemic for 20 years out you're you're sitting solid for retirement i would say it's i don't think it's anything like earth shattering but it's everything's everyone everybody likes like unopened things you yeah. know like and that's yeah. what a lot of this stuff is or because the perceived like that one that one could contain this thing you know and so they yeah people like that kind of stuff so we'll uh, see I don't know. so hold on i gotta touch on unopened stuff so uh i think it's so there's there's different card companies that rate cards and yeah. one of them is beckett another's psa uh but i saw beckett recently started grading vhs tapes yeah and hold on i gotta find the text just the other day I'm, you were texting I'm, with somebody about it yes uh so kurt's uncle ron and then yeah. the other guys we work with at the mud hens his name is john and we text about baseball cards and how ridiculous like the industry is a lot that's seemingly what it's been like the last two or three years. Yeah. And somebody bought an unopened copy of Star Wars factory sealed. Guess how much it sold for? I don't know. Uh, hundred, hundreds of thousands. Hundred, $114,000 <laughs> for a VHS tape, dude. Uh, and it was funny because we, uh, I saw, you know, it was like, a, a targeted ad of course or something yeah. or it was something some ad i think on uh instagram and it was specific to hey get your vhs tapes graded and i'm like <laughs> who the hell is gonna grade a vhs tape like what what are we doing with yeah. our lives and then <laughs> like two weeks later i they like you know john sends this text and i'm like oh my god somebody not only graded the tape but they they sold it for one hundred fourteen thousand dollars I um like it's hard to fathom, even though I'm currently doing it. I've only had stuff for a couple of years, but it's hard to fathom like just keeping something like that. Like for you know, that's oh that's really, really old. I don't know. I don't uh, know when that came 1980, out. 1982. Yeah, yeah. But also uh 114 thought like I'd be pretty upset about that. That's like <laughs> that's probably a pretty decent return off of whatever he originally sure, bought. Sure, sure, but like saying. I don't know. It's that's a lot. But also, my other thought in my head was, do you think this guy's ever seen Star Wars then? <laughs> he never opened the tape. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I thought you were like, do you think this guy has ever seen a woman naked? <laughs> <laughs> that, I thought I, that's that, what you. Yeah, that, that's 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 probably true too. Yes. <laughs> Maybe now with one hundred fourteen thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> well, the other funny one we were talking about was uh, over the summer a kid had a one-on-one -on -one of Mac Jones. Like it was a one-on-one, -on -one, one of one card. Yeah. And he sold it for a hundred grand and yeah. it was a Mac Jones rookie card. And we, and of course, after what happened and you know, that, that game the other night with the bears, where he, got, 
benched like you know after like a couple series yeah like, dude how how clutch of timing is it for this kid because i the kid was only 13 years old yeah. and i was like dude he, him and his dad are probably so happy that they got they offloaded that thing for 100 grand i mean he's the uh, person that bought it is probably yeah. like, well he uh he i mean he's gonna start the bill Belichick said he's gonna start uh, this next game but um but yeah. it's the same thing as catching when they thought they caught somebody caught tom brady's last uh touchdown pass and then he came, yeah he came back <laughs> and then he came back dude oh my god yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> and now he's divorced poor tom you guys you guys you know uh yeah it's tough it's tough i get it man i, I get it i get why he's struggling like dude it can't be easy to, to have that going through that and then also because if you think about it, like uh, Giselle was probably kind of call it his his rock at home. So yeah. he had his home life really buttoned up thanks to Giselle. But if she's not there anymore, th- it's got to be tough because then he's actually got to think about, oh, shoot, you know, like I got to pick up the kids and I got to do this and that. And not to say Tom Brady's probably not the best dad, but he's probably not been there a lot since, you know. <laughs> He's been playing football for 35 years. Yeah, he's been playing football for the last 20 <laughs> plus years, dude. And he's, you know, like never probably he's not, he's very much removed for six months of the year. We'll say it nicely. So yeah, that's gotta be tough, <laughs> but well, I don't really, I, I also don't really feel bad. Let's be honest. I don't feel bad for the guy. Like he's, no. he'll be fine. He'll land on his feet. I'm sure. A hundred percent. No doubt about it. <laughs> he has so much money. Uh, yeah, he'll he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Yeah. Um. Sorry, going back to candy though. <laughs> what? I yeah, I know. We're, oh, we're good. Gonna we're, I was we're, just, gonna I was, seg- we're gonna segue just hard. Just I was. Turn, I was. So I was hard. thinking. I was thinking that exact same thing, but I don't know how to get get us back. And <laughs> I, you I just, just went for it. Just ripped the bandaid. <laughs> I did want to talk about worst Halloween candy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I thought that was very appropriate. What was the one thing like you got that you're just maybe you didn't see it go into your bag or your little candy thing, but you got home and you're like, you just threw it away. Um, just, no. Those stupid individually wrapped orange and black candies. Yeah. Uh, which I do you uh, know the name of those, by the way? I had to look it up. Uh, it was... Yes, it's their peanut butter kisses, is what they're yes. called. <laughs> they're uh. gross. I yeah so I I had my own in my my little list but then of course I I was doing my research so I googled the worst Halloween candy and that those ones popped up on almost everyone's list of worst Halloween candy I'm like dude, dude if if why do you, so like you as the parent that's handing out the candy or whoever you know you you you're the you're the homeowner or whatever yeah why do you even put those candies out when is there anyone do you think that actually likes those? Oh, I, Gross, I, you, I would love to see. I would love to see, like, do a poll or like go around and like have a clipboard and be like, "Hi, uh, I'm uh, with the uh, Halloween candy pollsters. Um, what's your age? What age bracket are you in? Check one of these. And what candy are you giving out? And it has to be older people." Because I would imagine um, they have no one to tell them, like, that's not a good candy. Also, it's probably cheap, so that's why they buy it. Okay. But I would imagine they're they're older, not, um, and again, not having some somebody to bounce. <laughs> hey, we'll get this candy. It's a thousand pieces for a dollar, you know? It, yeah, I... Yeah. There were when I was looking at these images last night of candy, I was like vomiting with just thinking about puking with some of them. <laughs> my my worst one was candy corn. I I hate candy corn. Like that to me, like just thinking about t- tasting candy corn, I will puke. Like ugh, so uh, can, candy corn. I don't mind candy corn, but I can't eat a lot of it. Like I I'll get like if there's a bowl of it, I'll get like a couple pieces. No, uh, also also I like payday. So when people have candy corn and peanuts. That's it's just a payday and it tastes really good. That like that. So I just uh, can't do candy corn. Uh black licorice and black yes. Ugh. I, I hate black licorice. Hate black licorice. Uh, what's what's the isn't there a liquor that's black licorice flavor? Is that is that just like um oh, Jaeger? Gosh. It 
it's uh, Sambuca. It's yes. I, mean, I will immediately <laughs> say like, oh, just <laughs> oh god, I just want to start vomiting now. It's, I because like all right. So when I was worked at Put in Bay Days, our yeah. top listener George Smith will appreciate this. There was there was always seemingly like a shot of the season or of the summer. Yeah. And the shot of the summer, the one year before luckily it was like before I started at Putin Bay, it was Sambuca. Really? And so every now and then, so then the shot of the summer when I started working was Crown. I remember that very well because we were like obsessed with Crown Royal. Yeah. But Every now and then, like people would mix it up, and they're like, "Oh, let's do a shot of buka." And originally, I did not know what it was. And the first time I took a shot of buka, I was like, "I I started gagging. Like it was that bad." I thought about just throwing up on the floor of the bar we were at. It was. So, I do that with any liquor. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it was terrible. But yeah, Sam Buka is just. Yeah, I don't, black, I don't well, know who who did liquors. that. But that's let's just, put it. Let's put a horrible flavor in a drink. Good. Uh, well, I think uh, there's also like uh, not liquor related, but I feel like uh, cooking related. Isn't there like some sort of like black licorice uh, spice or something? I've I also run into a, a recipe or two in my time that had this. And I'm like, I'm not making this. No, okay. <laughs> everything else is good. But I've made recipes before where it's like, oh, this ingredient is terrible. It, but it you know it's calls for so i'm gonna do it and it's it works out fine because there's so many other ingredients yeah there's certain there's certain ones but again i just i vetoed it in my head it's like black fish <laughs> anything no not happening can't do it um on this list um smarties is on this list that i saw but i like smarties i did see smarties was on that i, I just mean, again same thing i only wrote down two for that just because of my hatred of those two were so powerful that i couldn't really think of anything else yeah what was your favorite uh fruit flavored um oh by the way that uh anise is that is uh the black flickerish flavored spice anise. it's called anise I, yeah. i'm assuming that's how you it's not a nice but... <laughs> it's not nice it's terrible <laughs> um before before I there's another bad candy I want to talk about real quick. Uh do you ever eat the candy buttons off the paper? Yeah. Those yeah. those were okay, but having to get them off you oh, you eat paper all day. You would eat paper the entire time. <laughs> yeah. That's you said that. I said I started having flashbacks to my childhood of getting those at home and I distinctly remember you know, like popping them off in my mouth and then I would just have like a paper trail like that. <laughs> Peel off of the thing. You, you know uh, another old person candy that is also black licorice. What? Good and plenty. <clears throat> Do you know good and plenty? Yeah. Yeah. I was, dude, I, 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 I'm not joking. I feel sick right now. Just talking. <laughs> so we gotta stop talking about black licorice. I'm gonna vomit. Candy necklace. Those were fun. They were fun and were cool, and they were good. But then you just, if you're wearing the necklace, you just have a spit around your. Neck. yeah <laughs> i don't know yeah anything and then, and, well then eventually you don't even have a necklace and you just have like a piece a, of paper a, spit or, or a, 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 a stretchy piece of yeah like spit, whatever that is spit elastic spit <laughs> elastic uh anything with coconut in it Mouse. oh yeah i'm not a that's a good one i'm not a coconut fan yeah what yeah. what's the coconut get like chocolate mounds, mounds. Yeah. yeah i can't yeah. do mounds no oh, yeah no forget uh, that I, I just every now and then I just appreciated too like the little mini like Hershey bars, you know, just a straight piece of like milk chocolate. Yes. yes. Those are always good. But then I always got pissed when I would get pull like the almond ones of those. And yeah. I, I don't need the almond. Just give me the straight, straight <laughs> chocolate of that. That's all I needed. Yeah. Um all right. Snickers. I gotta talk. I gotta give a shout out to Snickers too. Cause that was yeah. my second favorite if somebody would have taken Reese's. I do yeah. like Snickers. Eh, I don't I know. I like I like anything with nougat, so I like uh Milky Way. Milky yeah. Way is really good. Um uh, again the the payday, I don't know if that that's that's nougat also. Twix. Um, 
Twix. But yep. See get, again the, the it's wafer. Got some crunch to it. Yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, I never a huge fan of of Snickers. Um, but you you said uh, fruit flavored candy. Yep. Um, I like, and I think I would have got away with this. I don't think anybody would have picked it. Chewy spree. Yeah, you would have gotten away with that. I don't even yeah. know. What that is. Do you know what spree is? You never had a spree. Hold on, I gotta look it up now. Yeah, spree is like um, it's just a circle. It's a circle. Um, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I've seen these before. I just <clears throat> I don't remember really getting them in Halloween bags. I guess. Yeah, the, they'll come in like a three pack or something, like a little tiny three pack. Same as as like a bottle caps. Okay. Um, but bottle caps are chalky. These are you can get. I like the chewy ones, but you can get them where it's just like a hard candy. But those are that's my favorite chewy spree. Um, obviously Skittles. I was okay. gonna try. Yeah, Skittles is great. I was gonna try for Starburst if that wasn't a top pick. Uh, Adam Gump would have picked Starburst in a heartbeat for sure. And I don't know if he, he could have probably also been selective too with the what is he always like the pink the pink ones. Fave now, fave red, sell, huh? Fave red is what they're called. Fave red. Yeah, where it's all the red red pink flavors. Yeah. Those are that, that I was gonna say that those packs at the grocery store every time I see them, I think of Adam. Me and, too. Yeah. Me too. Like, Isn't that really crazy? Do. Yeah. Cause I'm like that this this was specifically designed after Adam had written like wrote them letters for years about hey, you should just put this in a pack just together. Get out get rid of all those other garbage yellows and oranges, though. So, I love the uh the tropical flavor starburst too. Those are good. Those are good. Yeah. I wrote down uh, Jolly Ranchers. Oh, like I was yeah. Thinking about it, I was like, dude, those were always good. And I, yes. I yeah. I, so I felt like I might have been able to sneak that one in until in until there. they got like a sharp, a sharp one, and you're sucking on it, like cut your tongue or something. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's just a casualty of war. You know? like, <laughs> All right. What were we gonna say? Uh, nerds. Yes, so nerds I was gonna bring that up. Too. Fruit oh, hundred percent. What else? Yeah, it couldn't be anything. Else. I, I like nerds. Like, yes. yeah, like yeah. because the, those always were in a little thing of you know Halloween candy. You get the little little, little box, box of nerds, yeah. and yeah. yeah, those were always solid. I thought so. Uh, and those are easy. Uh, open a box, throw the whole thing in your mouth at one time. You know. Oh yeah. 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 The, the nerd, little, nerds are good. Uh, are good. I did. Oh, I just thought of another chocolate. Um. I always get them at the, the only place I get them is movie theaters. A bun, they're called bunch of crunch. Bunch of crunch. I've seen those too. They're just, yep. Yeah, they're just tiny crunch bars, but they're like little little balls of crunch. My go-to at the theater is uh, Reese's Pieces, obviously. Yeah. Okay, I like I like Reese's Pieces. I just finished a bag off out of my refrigerator. They were in my refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Reese's Pieces are good. Um, I do like uh that they like all the halloween candy is like uh bite size uh so as a dad i can just go through a bucket uh quickly open a wrapper throw it all in my mouth and throw the garbage away without anybody knowing oh yeah so that's uh i was gonna, I was gonna tell you so uh olivia i think it was last year she did yell at me because <laughs> <laughs> she, she i think she started actually paying more attention to the halloween candy and her Halloween candy last year was here uh, because, you know, we, we do every other year with her, with her, with Halloween. So this year she's with, she's with mom. Uh, But last year she was with me. And so she had her Halloween candy here. And, you know, there's, there are times, obviously like a a weekend, she's not here Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then I'll see her on Monday. But so I think it was a lot, you know, it was like one of those weekends and I must've gotten into her candy a little too hard and, she caught up and she's just like, Dad, this this big giant sized gallon bag of candy is like half gone. Like, what happened? And I was like, I and I just walked away. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get down, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. I'm gonna I'll go to the condo association and figure out what's going on. Here. <laughs> yeah, so somebody one of the old people must have got it in our house. You ran so out of power. I probably <laughs> tell her that she would believe me and then freak out that someone has a key to our place. <laughs> You run on a platform of stopping, stopping the steal of candy. Stop the steal. <laughs> Stop the steal. That's actually a good one. Thank oh you. God. Stop the steal, candy. I'm of a course. professional. I'll, I'll hire you as my campaign manager. 
to run for re-election. <laughs> Who's this guy? He's my campaign manager. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm going to dig up so much dirt. <laughs> um, One more. Th- what was I going to say about? I think um, with the kids, you know, with stealing, stealing their candy. I don't think my kids have ever, like, complained about it. I think if they actively see me take one out, like, Dad, that's mine. I'm like, well, I'm having this. And that's pretty that's pretty much the end of it. Yeah, I Olivia's okay. Like, I think, you know, if I'm sitting next to her having a piece of candy and I just grab, you know, a piece, you know, with her or whatever, like and she's just having some too. But yeah, the last year I was the first one I remember where she like was she caught it. You know, she definitely noticed like the bag getting significantly smaller. It's just, yeah. it's just like yeah, it was one of those. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Type <laughs> type feels, you know. Yeah. But I was like, oh my god, I'm getting shamed by my daughter for eating what, too much candy. Well, at least she didn't say, uh, "Dad, I noticed uh, you're putting on some few a few pounds. Are you eating my candy?" She could have. <laughs> it could have been mean, the other way, you know. Cause... Yeah. I I actually yeah the a couple months ago I told her to start calling me Fatty Daddy to motivate me to get on the. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Did she? It's true. Just gotta gotta get gotta get some uh gotta get some motivation. So that's that's funny. Did did she did she call you that? Only she's when too yeah, nice. She's too, she's too nice. So yeah, only when yeah. I encourage her to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, another quick another quick topic change because that's what we're doing today. Um, are you coming out to our next playoff game? It's home again. I can. Uh, yeah, I could. Is it? It's Friday again, right? Obviously. Yeah. 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 Who are we playing? Olin Tangy Berlin. So it's uh, around Columbus. This is Columbus. an anti Nazi podcast. So we are definitely against Berlin. <laughs> it's true. We don't like Nazis. I didn't know that Olin Tangy <laughs> had like five high schools. Dude, it's huge. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's in Columbus, right? Yes. Olin Tangy. Yeah. yeah. So this, this school is five years old. Um, and it's crazy to me that they, it's, like they have all these schools and they're all Division One, <laughs> so they, there's just so many people down there. Jesus. Yeah. So it's five years old. Um, they're the fifth seed. We're the fourth seed. So again, we get to have another home game. Uh, then we'll be at neutral sites. But it was it was awesome. The last game, uh, it was a lot of fun. It was nail biter. Um, but it's good. We haven't had a good game like that in probably a month since Anthony Wayne. So. Yeah, like a a true test game. I thought the same thing. It'll, you know, and like that was the Finley team that you guys pretty well handled to start. But yeah, they obviously Four, got they got better, got better throughout the year, and you know, and it's a playoff game, so obviously it's going to be harder. So yeah, 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 it was fun though, man. It's it, the playoffs are. It just feels so different. Like I haven't had a raspy voice on a Saturday morning in a while. So <laughs> yesterday was uh, tough to. Tough to get going just from yelling, and there was a couple things that <laughs> I was surprised. I think I, I, I told the line pretty good, and and officials are pretty good. But man, I was there's a, a pretty. It looked like a pretty clear pass interference they didn't call, and I was just <laughs> took my head. You know, I'm yelling when I take my headset off and just like <laughs> give just yell at the official, and he was just what staring you, at what me. What are you telling him? Like, I, so you said you told the line. Like, what do you? What can and can't you tell an official? I do, I'm just telling, like, I'm, I'm not, I'm never cuss or never do anything like that or say anything, you know, uh, personal about them. I'm just yelling about the play, basically yeah. screaming like what we saw and and why, you know, you know. I never, I learned pretty, never say throw the flag, you know, because that'll get that'll get you a flag. Really? <laughs> he'll throw it. He'll throw it for sure at you. So. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Throw the flag. Yeah. Uh, so you just like talk about the play more. Yeah, see, it's funny you talk about this because I was wondering, uh, you know, I was at the Michigan game last night and there were several calls where, you know, you can see the coaches, you know, like head coaches specifically are just getting into the refs on the sidelines. And I'm always like, man, what do you think they're saying? I, and I, I always want to be mic'd up. But then the other thing is, I'm like, I, I wonder sometimes, which I feel like the answer is never, but if the refs ever give it back to them, like there was a, the Michigan state, there was a play where uh, a wide receiver is going out, you know, and like an out route 
and he was kind of fumbling the ball. So the Michigan corner came up, smacked him, and, you know, just basically pass breakup, like help break up the pass. Uh, and so they didn't catch it. But for whatever reason, like their sideline was just hot because they're just like, oh, it's a late hit or whatever. Yeah. And I almost, I was like just laughing in my head. I'm like, I wonder if the ref ever is like, dude, it's football. It, 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 like hitting is allowed in football, like just to shut them up. But I was I didn't see the, the ref say a word. So did the refs ever clap back at, at people or no? No, basically just tell us to stop. Uh oh. or that official uh on Friday basically was just staring me down um afterward. Um so I, I would just stare back at him. You know, I can't <laughs> if, if he throws a flag because I'm staring at him, then something else is going on. But plus he was the one in the middle, like he wasn't on our sideline or anything. Um you should, you should like flex out of your Okay. <laughs> what <laughs> no no um but yeah it's it's when i was official i never i never said stuff back if they were yelling at me i would just tell them like okay 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 you know and you know basically tell them tell them to knock it off but yeah nothing nothing crazy but yeah i was um <laughs> like i said i i since i i was an official um it kind of helps like no like I can I can say words up to a point, and then they're they're not gonna, I mean they're not gonna care regardless. But I can say they'll let me say words up to you know for for so many seconds, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah. So I don't and, know. I, I, there's obviously a difference between high school and college, but like again, there was like a short play, you know, fourth and fourth and short, like fourth and one, and Michigan State didn't get it or whatever, and it went to video review. And they, you know, overruled it. They originally gave them the first down, but then they overruled it and said, hey, we shorted the line of gain. And Michigan State coach Tucker was just going nuts on the sideline. Yeah. And, like, if I was a ref, I'd be like, dude, the film doesn't lie. Like, we we looked at the film. Like, what do you want us to do? You know, they, uh, they should do like they do in baseball. Uh, when they review stuff in baseball, you, you can't come out and, and argue about it. Otherwise, it's a – it's – um, you get ejected now i don't think they should obviously eject someone in football but i think they should like here's a replay if you argue about it then you're gonna get a flag yeah because because like, like here we, it's we a reviewed play yeah. like for video yeah yeah we literally uh, went through the film to watch it yeah exactly yeah the other thing i feel strongly about with uh college and pro is the fact that it's 2022 and we still use a chain to do measurements and stuff like yeah and this is the day of 8k film and like you know baseball you know for baseball quote unquote being you know a less popular sport than the other major sports they at least have it more figured out as they're using the technology now because you know they have uh the arizona fall league i don't know if you saw the film or the clip but the robot umpires yep the, yeah. the no, well they have robot players. umpires and they have replay right for strikes and balls yes yeah. so it's they have robot umpires but they also still they, they're still going to utilize like normal umpires i don't think that'll ever go away but i think what will change and you start you're starting to see it in the the fall league is the the batter you know there's a clip short clip like of uh one of the yankee prospects he didn't like the call it was a low strike call so he yeah. just taps on his helmet and it goes to an instant review and again, like, so what I'm talking about is baseball has the data because they have these 8K cameras all over the stadium and they mm -hmm. track everything like exit velocity, like pitch speed, they track uh, pitch rotation, everything that you could possibly track. And so they have the data and they're like, okay, well, yeah, let's use it because we have it. So I yeah. wish though football would get on board with that and be like, okay, we can tell like the yard markers like we could put like a digital yard marker and see if this ball crosses that plane and just end the stupid chain arguments and, and i'm sure know, they could put just, something in the ball too right? yes i've yeah. thought that too is like just you could put the smallest probably little thing inside that ball like at the tip of the ball and say okay yep yeah, it crossed the the plane so yeah and like you said no argument we're done but for whatever reason i don't know why the nfl must like that and they, they can yeah, do it like uh they can do it like hockey when they score a touchdown like a big light can go off or something you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if hockey can put puck track twenty years ago, then we could do something right. with football right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was such a shit show. 
Where's the puck? <laughs> oh, it's just this big red streak going around the boards. As somebody who doesn't like hockey, I love that thing. <laughs> I enjoy it. I watch so much hockey because of that. Yeah. When I, when I was younger, because uh, I knew I didn't know what was happening. And then I was like, well, at least I know where the puck's at. You know, you know where the puck is at. Yeah. Then it'll force you to pay <laughs> attention and then you'll start learning about the game. Yeah. That's a yeah. Good all right, Ty. Well, we didn't have our draft, uh, but that's all right. We still had a good episode. Talked about Halloween. Um, Halloween is technically when this episode comes out is today. So have a good Halloween, man. Uh, I don't Me know too. if you um, passing out candy. Is that what you said? Yeah. This year? Probably passing out candy, but uh, not ironically, there's no one that really walks around inside a condo to get candy. So <laughs> uh, I have like a bowl and I'll probably just end up eating it myself. So. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, everyone, enjoy Halloween. Uh, give kids candy a lot. Um, and when you're done, when you're getting close to the end, it's almost eight o'clock or whatever your time stops, and you just have a bunch of candy, just start giving out handfuls, man. Get rid of that That's candy. Right. Kids will love it. And their parents Maybe will too. Maybe put a handful for yourself too. Yeah. Show and, yourself uh, some love. Yeah. And like we always say, thanks, George. Thanks, George. This has been uh, another episode of Three Different Dads.